Hi guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. So, I decided to merge two of my absolute favorite videos into one. So I decided to merge my what's proppin' video with a plant tour. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to show you guys what I have propagating and where it lives. And the reason why I place these plants in certain places, it could be purposeful or it could be just decorative. So I wanted to show you guys all my propagations and kind of let you know like what I have going on right now. I started all these propagations because I have noticed in Florida is completely different from everywhere else that is still kind of pretty covered in snow. We are starting to notice some flowers blooming. I have flowers that I am highly allergic to in my front yard that are blooming. They're beautiful pink like azaleas and I am blotchy red eyes all the time. So with that being said, Spring is near. As any plant parent, we're really excited for spring to be coming. So I just wanna let everybody else in the rest of the world know that it's, it's coming soon. So don't worry, the snow will belt soon. Because I've started to notice plants blooming in Florida and I've noticed like my plants starting to kind of wake up from their dormancy, I decided to chop up my plants and propagate them because why not? So I have a ton of propagations to show you guys today. So I'm gonna take you guys around and show you all my propagations and yeah. So let's go look at the propagations. Just kidding. Before we get into that, please like and subscribe and share this video. If you haven't subscribed to me already, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video at the end, please give it a like. That helps me out a ton to grow my channel. I appreciate you guys all so much. So let's really get into it. Okay, so the first propagation I have in my plant room are these philodendron micans that are recovering from some root rot. Let me take this one out to show you guys. So this has a new leaf on it that is growing. I think this one in the back has a good root starting. There it is. It's about a half an inch and I want it to grow another half an inch before I plant it. Onto my record stand. These plants get a lot of bright light due to the northeast facing window. I have this begonia maculata cutting from my Lowe's Rehab that's growing some pretty good roots. And these Monstera and Sonii top cuttings. I cut these to make my plant a little bit fuller, but they're growing pretty slowly. And onto my Monstera Peru cuttings. One leaf is just there because I can't let it go, and the other is growing this, well, little nub. Ugh, it's not focusing. There we go. And these Peperomia frost cuttings that I just took a few days ago. Now, I have a secret spot behind this Fleetwood Mac album. This is my propagation box, aka an old Chinese takeout box. I'm pretty sure this had lo mein in it at one point. Most of my propagations are in water, but I'm experimenting in moss. Here we have these Rapiforia tetrasperma wet stick that I'm experimenting with. It's growing some really good leaves, but no roots or nodes yet. And here's some more Peperomia frost cuttings that are still pretty fresh. Guys, I think I went a little crazy with the propagation. Please take these shares away from me. Here are these Syngonium elbow cuttings that I went a little crazy with, but I wanted my plant to be fuller rather than taller. As you can see, they're getting great light from the southeast facing window. They're already sprouting really great roots in the week that they've been propagating. The water is a little cloudy due to the Super Thrive.
I don't have many propagations in my living room, but I do have these jade pothos cuttings. These have been propping for about two weeks and has some great root action already. Disclaimer, I have a ton of jade pothos cuttings everywhere. <laughs> and on to another jade pothos cutting that has these beautiful roots that after this video will have to get planted. Oh my gosh, just look at those roots. And these Monstera and Sonii cuttings, these are the narrow versus the wide that you saw earlier. Oh my god. Okay, well there that goes. Well, it was worth showing you guys these long beautiful roots. Both the jade and this guy here have been propping for about a month. Here I have, yep, you guessed it, jade pothos cuttings. These did get a little rotted from a Lucky experiment that I did, so they're popping again and they don't want to come out. And onto another Monstera and Sonii narrow leaf cuttings that have super long roots in this cute gin bottle. So that's it, that is my what's prop and plant tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I do have, again, I do have a ton of plants that you just saw. like. I know I have a ton of plants that are propagating, so it's gonna be really exciting to see kind of like how these plants are going to grow and this and that. I hope you guys all have a great day and